day four of the Doyle Brunson Five Diamond World Poker Classics. And I'm here with James Dempsey, who started the day with 300,000 and is now second or third in the next split. Uh, 1.5 minutes. So, yeah, pretty good day so far. Not too tight. Now, I know there was one big hand against Robert Bland where you had a flush draw to an overpair. Well, that was long after you got chips. What happened early? We should double up as soon as we started. We raised with King Three Spades, flopping up flush, and the guy checked the two streets and then bet, called my, bet, bet the river and I shoved it cool. And uh, you see, I know I was winning, which was flopping hand every time I raised. We got kings against Ace King for a couple hundred thousand, and I went like that. And obviously, that hand against the, the there where I revved it up flush. So, it's been pretty easy so far. I haven't made any big decisions or anything. I'd, I'd like it to stay that way. If I can get aces versus kings, that'll do me just fine. Well, that's always the easy way to do it. And it is a pretty tough field when you run into anybody that's giving you. I mean, you said it's been easy today, but no one's giving you a hard time. Uh, no, obviously, yeah, the field's brought down a lot tougher now since the start of today. I mean, the tournament was pretty soft overall. And uh, I'd say I've definitely got a harder table now. And just, like I say, I'll just, I'll just cold deck them, that's fine. I don't, I don't mind not outplaying them. They can outplay me all they want. I'll just cold deck them. We were but, just searching for Jake Cody on this thing and noticed he won with Queen, so we'll take Queen. Yeah, I'll take Queen. We'll play with Queen. Play like Jake. Yeah. Pick up Queen. Play like Jake. If, I'll just get it with the worst hand and get there. Either way, I don't really care. As long as, as, long as I just run good. But yeah, obviously it's a tough table now. There aren't, there aren't really any spots on it, so yeah. let's see what happens. Tough table, tough field. What brought you to Vegas to play in this event instead of staying over? I know there's a bunch of WPT, UPT, and um, It's a stupid thing. I've got some money of Chris Mormons here. You need to collect it, so I came over to collect the money so for it. You're an errand boy. I am. I am Mormons' little errand bitch. So yeah, uh, so I thought I'd you know come over and play some tournaments. I've been here for two weeks, so uh, I come here a lot anyway and play cash. So I've been doing that. This might be working out. Much yeah, it might be. You than it is for Mormons. It might be. Uh, yeah. I hope you don't. He, he doesn't get a first. He has a he has he has a rather large percentage of me in this tournament oh. as well. So uh, he just busted Prague. I think he was he's chasing player of the year. He came uh, he came twenty something and he needed to final to uh, take Ben Lamb. So, now he's, he's flying out next week, I think, to play the whatever else is out here, so he can try and win play the year. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll give him some, a bigger amount of money than he was expecting when he gets there. Okay, if, you, if he has such a big piece of you, I know when you won your bracelet at the World Series last year, you had a notoriously loud British rail. If you final table this, Chris, <laughs> we have to have this happen again. Well, let's fly the boys out. Let's get it rowdy. I like this plan. Let's get rowdy.